Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Before I start this video, I say a quick thank you for the reception on my last video. Um, my How I Saved $10,000 video did pretty well for this channel size. I got more views on that video than I have subscribers. So I just wanna say thank you guys for your interest in that topic and also for the comments that you left. You know, I really like talking to you guys and interacting with you guys. So I appreciate all of you know the feedback the input and you guys viewing that video i really appreciate that so without further ado let's get into this video i wanted to budget my first paycheck of the month with you i as you know am getting paid three paychecks this month which means that i will be getting an extra around $2,500 that i will be using to reach my hefty February savings goal of $5,000. But I'm learning that it's actually going to be um, a little bit tight. So I am going to just make sure I stick to this budget, make sure I stick to my categories and that we make it to this goal because I feel like if I succeed at saving five grand this month, it will really set up my year, the rest of the year for success. My first goal is to keep discretionary spending under $500. My next goal is to save $5,000, as I said. And then my last one is to have 15 no spend days. I think that is very possible as well, seeing as how I only spend money on the weekends. I'm just gonna remove my stickers. My bills for the month. So far I've paid rent, because that was on the first, and $125 on groceries. So me and my husband do um, split costs on certain things. Groceries is one of them. Total, we spend about $400 to $500 on groceries. Um, my budget, my specific budget for groceries is $125 each week um, for two weeks. So that's why that is there. I am expecting to spend another $125 when I get paid next. So those are the only bills that came out of um, my check this month so far. Moving on for debt. I do want to spend another 200 towards debt, but my my budget is really tight this month, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Um, I did budget 200 for dog medicine, so if I don't use it there, then maybe I'll use it here. But um, with contributing an extra percent towards my 401k, as well as you know my categories being the way that they are, I'm not sure I'll be able to make that payment. Um, Technically, I don't have anything due because I did pay 18,000 towards my loan back when it was at 23,000. So on Nelnet, it says that my next payment is due August of 2030. So I have some time, but I do want to get rid of it by December. If I'm able to squeeze out 200 this month, then I will definitely let you guys know. But as of right now, I haven't made any payments yet. I'm still seeing how things turn out. For my savings goal, you guys know I'm trying to get to 20,000. I saved 2,000 in February so far, and I plan to save three more thousand. So I've only filled this up halfway, put the little two here, and that is for February. So when I get paid again um, this month, I will fill up this the rest of the way and add whatever other numbers I um, decide to put in there. Hopefully it reaches the 5,000 goal. And then for sinking funds again, February 1st, I added $2,000. And so now my total savings is $15,500. And I do get um, some interest on my savings. It's a high yield savings account. So it's more uh, $15,546, which is super close to my goal of 20,000. And I'm super excited for that. And then for my savings for the emergency fund, again, $20,000. I added a few more 500 pebbles here. As you know, since I saved 2,000, then that is four pebbles. So I added four new um, golden circles here. So for my monthly budget, as you guys can see, I got my first check on the 2nd of February and it was $2,464.61. This number changed from last month because I did um, increase my contribution to my 401k at my W-2 job by 1%. So now I am contributing 8% of my gross income to my 401k. My sinking fund, I put $2,000 towards it. For housing and transportation, I budgeted 
1620. So that includes my rent. My rent is 13, grocery 250, electric $50, and Orca is $20. So that came out to 1620. My entertainment, all I have is Netflix. I budget $30 for that. Self-care, beauty, 200. Um, that's how much I budgeted for beauty, and I've already spent 112 on that because my um, facialist had a 20 anniversary party for her spa, and I got some more um, skincare product from her. I added a category, pets, my dog medicine. He doesn't need any this month, but I did budget 200 just in case anything came up. I'm not really expecting to use this. And then um, my discretionary, I have it 500. So total that puts me at $2,550 and zero cents, which is how much I ended up spending last month. So I thought I need to budget more categories so that it's more realistic so that I don't overspend. You can see that I have my housing, housing and beauty. So those are some of my um, other categories. So I don't add those up when I add up my total spending because these are already accounted for in the budget. And this is how I've spent my money so far. I have not totaled this up yet, but I um, am going to do that now. So if you'll just give me a few minutes. Right now we are at 169.5. So that's where we're at right now. I'm just gonna make a quick little note on the side here. 169.50. So that's where we're at right now. I don't wanna put it in the subtotal yet because I don't know um, how much more I'm going to spend. As you can see, it's not been that many days. It's the 11th right now. So I'm obviously gonna spend more, but um, of what I'm at, of what I have of 500, I've spent 169.5, so. I have $330.50 left of my discretionary. And I don't know, um, that's not bad. Um, that's definitely doable for the rest of the month, but I do wanna find a way to be able to pay that loan a little bit. I'm gonna try to find a way to maybe spend less on discretionary, maybe don't spend any more on beauty, whatever is extra in here, I'm gonna try to use for the debt. But that's where I'm at right now with that. And so far I think we're doing pretty good with there being only around two-ish, two and a half weeks left of the month. So here's hoping that I can keep my spending under 500 and everything else stays the way it should so that I can make the payments I need as well as save what I need to save. With these savings challenges and keeping this budget, I am finding it a little bit difficult um, to not get overzealous with my goals, um, to stick to them, just because you know you get so excited and so gung-ho and you want things to move a little bit faster than they are. Um, so what I'm trying to learn this month is definitely patience. I think that's the theme for the year here is patience and enduring. That's what I'm trying to do um, when it comes to my job, my relationships, you know, everything. Just being patient and being grateful for everything that you have. That is what I'm trying to take from this month. So again, thank you guys for watching this video. Leave any comments where you're at with your budget. If you're using a budget, um, if you're still on the fence about it, I get it. Just keep following along. Eventually you will, you know, know when you're comfortable enough to do what needs to be done for yourself, for your finances. If you do want a copy of this budget tracker, then the link to this budget tracker will be in the description of this video, as well as this calculator and the pins that I use to budget um, my paychecks. If you guys have any questions, again, leave them in the comments below, and I will talk to you in the next video.